Hey what's going on everybody, this is Dom and today we are checking out the Kingston 240GB 3K SSD. This thing is a beast. It can achieve read and write speeds over 500 megabytes per second and that is pretty insane so I'm really excited to check this out. Big shout out to Kingston for sending this out to be used in the Building the Ultimate Mac Mini video series. But I just wanted to give you guys an unboxing and an overview in case you're looking to purchase this guy right here so you know exactly what you're going to get. So now that we have the plastic off, let's go ahead and look at the back side of the box. This will just give you an idea of the contents, but we are going to go over everything here as we unbox this. So here is the box itself. Let's go ahead and pull off the top and we can reveal the solid state drive there is the HyperX from Kingston. It's a very nice looking solid state drive and as you can see here it's just got a nice premium look and feel to it. It's a shame that it gets tucked away inside of a computer but that's obviously where it's going to serve its purpose best. So the next thing we have here is the 3.5 inch mounting bracket and it also comes with screws inside of the box but we're not going to use that because we are putting this in a Mac Mini. Following that we do have some cloning software it's only PC compatible but that's not a big deal we're not going to use this anyway because OSX has a built-in disk utility that will allow us to clone the drive at a later point next in the box we have the 2.5 inch USB enclosure and this has a very nice look to it as well this can be used to stick the solid-state drive into and use it to actually clone your existing hard drive onto the solid-state drive furthermore you can actually use this as an external hard drive with your old hard drive once you swap it out for the solid-state drive here so many uses for this little thing it's it's actually pretty cool that it comes in this PC kit, but as you can see, you can just open it up, slap your drive in there, and then you can go ahead and clone it, or you can put your old drive in there and use it as an external drive, which is a very cool option. So following that, we do have the USB cable used to power that little USB enclosure for the hard drive. And then next up, we also do have a SATA cable, which we're not going to use in this particular situation because we are upgrading a Mac Mini. And the last thing in the box here is a nice little toolkit. I mean, it's a, it's a little small, there's not much here, but it is very nice of Kingston to include a little screwdriver kit with a, a couple of bits in there, as you can see, that you can use to install your solid state drive. And then of course, following that, we do also have a set of screws that are in the box as well. So this has been a quick installment of building the Ultimate Mac Mini. I just wanted to give you guys an unboxing and an overview of this solid state drive that we will be putting inside of the Mac Mini in a future episode. So stay tuned for that. If you want to find out more information about this solid state drive kit, you can pick it up for around 200 bucks and I'll be sure to leave some links down below in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. A big shout out to Kingston and iFixit for sponsoring this video series. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave me a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.